All right, Flames fans, welcome back to our franchise mode here on NHL 21. I decided I'm going to mix things up and do this bow wow live com as opposed to post com like the first couple episodes of this series. However, today is a big day as we kind of have some uh, some things to put in order here. After winning the Stanley Cup, we have a big offseason ahead of us. Noah Hannafin is up. And he's going to need a big-time contract. Just how big-time? Well, we're about to find out. Let's go to the NHL entry draft first and foremost, though. As you can see, we won the Stanley Cup. The salary cap is going up. Everything is right in the hockey world. And we do not get a draft pick. I didn't think we were going to. But, you know, sometimes you forget about a trade that you have. You know, you forget about a certain pick, and all of a sudden you have the fifth overall pick, and you're like, oh my god, I made the greatest trade of all time. Not going to happen for us uh, this year, however. Now, let's just take a look. No, let's just go directly to the NHL entry draft, and let's see what we got popping, man. I am excited for this one. We just came off of a Stanley Cup win, so we don't even need to draft like a super elite talent, but we'll still do our best we got a top six forward sniper mid 70s overall already man that's a really good pick for picking last in the draft man that is awesome we could get a goaltender late in the second round medium elite his name is yaskin or we could get potentially a top four defenseman here and uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and call him goofy I don't know which one we should be going to. Neither of these gentlemen are gems, unless that doesn't show up. No, there's no there's no gems here anywhere close to the next pick. So I don't know. I don't know what we should do. I think we should draft the elite goalie and then figure it out from there, even though we're kind of already developing an elite goalie. Mm, but then again, a top four defense. You know what? We're going to... What's his name? Yaskin. We're going to we're going to do this and we're going to see what Yaskin turns into. Now we drafted a top 60. That's not the worst. Is Yaskin going to be picked right after us? Oh, he's going to go to the Oilers, isn't he? Yes, he sure is. Oh, he's a starter. Okay. So we didn't really lose out on anyone too good out of this draft pick, but still I would like to not have picked him. I would like to have picked somebody a little bit better than a top 60, but at least he has potential to be an NHL player. Now, out here don't have much either and that's pretty much going to be the end of the draft man we're kind of running out of uh, co competent players here but it's you know you never know you never know what you can have and we'll just we'll just pick a shot in the dark might as well pick a center because you never know and we're going to find out what we got out of him we got oof, yeah bottom six forward low bottom six two he's not going to be an nhl player it's all good you know what last pick of the draft we get the draft mr irrelevant this year which is pretty good who is going to be mr irrelevant there are a couple of backup goalies you know what if this man turns into a low elite mr purcell please be oh Actually, a low elite. So, Mystery Relevant is a low elite. We just might get an NHL player out of the very last pick in a draft. That's actually kind of cool. I hope he makes it. I hope Mr. Purcell makes it, but I, I highly doubt it. Let's go to rehire coaches. Who is expiring? You are expiring. Let's just give you a contract. Please, just come back to my team. I don't want to deal with this shit assistant coach in the AHL. Not... Not my speed, man. I ain't trying to do all of that. Nobody important is expiring on our staff. Okay, let's... Oh, my goodness. Noah Hannafin does not want to re-sign. Well, that means Lindholm is going to be our top priority because he does want to re-sign. And we'll see if we can afford Hannafin afterwards. He's 27. Ah, doesn't want to re -sign. That sucks. That really sucks. And uh, I hate it, but it is what it is. We also have Yevgeny Malkin, who wants to come back here to the Calgary Flames. You know what? He had a really, really good little stretch for us. We're going to re-sign him. We're going to re-sign Let's sign 30. Oh, I, I, don't, I, oh, I don't know about a two-year contract, Yevgeny. We're going to have to revisit this. We are going to revisit this. Oh, Valamaki wants to sign a contract with us and is also a restricted free agent. Oh, that is a that is a big deal for Mr. Valamaki. I, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's see if we can, I don't know, sign you to five years, right? Five times five? I like that. Let's, let's actually give you five times 
Five times 4.850. Let's see if we can nickel and dime Mr. Valimaki for a little bit. He's a good defenseman, though. He's going to be in our top four most of the time. So $5 million really ain't that much. Tyler Johnson wants to come back. He is an 83 overall at 33 years old. No, he just was a good player for us. Yeah, he was a really good player for us. We're going to re-sign him, actually. Uh, we're going to sign him for one year. He wants $3 million. We might have, if we're going to keep Hannafin, we're going to have to make some sacrifices here in the bottom of the roster, and that just might have to be one. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Calvin DeHaan doesn't want to re-sign. You can kind of get the fuck off my team. You're not that important. Mr. Phillips. Phillips was a good player for us. Hey, man, he was just kind of a, a throwaway player that I didn't even realize I had, to be honest, but he ended up being a really good fourth liner for us. We're going to give you a three-year contract, Mr. Phillips. And yeah, we're gonna three year contract. And actually we're not gonna we're not gonna overpay for you. One just over a million dollars for Phillips, and we'll see if we can bring him back because that just might end up being a third line option for us if we have to pay the big bucks to get the big guys back. Now other than that, Matias Yanmark didn't really play for us. We're gonna release him, even though we might we might regret that a little bit. Andrew Mandrapani, I think I think we can sign a better version of him that would fit more or fit better with the bottom six. So unless he wants a really cheap deal, which he does not, we would we would reassign him. But 1.5, that's a little bit steep for the role that he's going to be playing for us. Now, let's take a look at the goaltenders, what we got going on. Oof, okay, right, we have to sign a back or a starting goalie this season, so we're going to release Freddy because he is declining, and he, quite frankly, didn't have a good enough season for us. Our elite goalie is on the way, though. He is 20, 20 years old, 75 overall. He is on the way. I think in two or three seasons, he's going to be in the NHL. I don't know if he's going to be our backup or our starter, but he's going to be in the NHL. So we actually have nothing to do for goalies here. We're just going to sign one as an unrestricted free agent. Now, obviously, obviously, Hannafin doesn't want to re-sign, so we're going to work on the Lindholm signing here. He wants an eight-year... Oh, actually... Oh, that's a... Ooh, that's a long contract for Lindholm. He's 29. Oh, I don't like this. I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not... Let's not insult him either. Can we give you a six-year deal? Actually, a five-year deal at... I don't know, 9.5? 9.4. Five-year deal at 9.4 for your top-line center. He is he is a little old, but I feel like that is a good contract for the Calgary Flames. We're going we're gonna to do that. He's producing for us. Let's just advance the day here and see what happens. Okay, our coach comes back. Good for you, bud. Uh, easy decision. Easy decision. Yes. Okay, so we signed Mr. Lindholm back on the roster for a little midterm contract five year i think he actually expires at the same time no he doesn't he doesn't ram jack saying is signed until forever okay that's good evgeny malkin might have to be a casualty of signing noah hannafin here what do you want what do you want noah oh you want 13 million dollars man i mean he is a number one defenseman and he's he's been good for us I just I just don't know about 13 million. Um they're tough to find though. Number 1 defenseman, 50 he's a 60 point guy. Oh man, that sucks. He actually matches pretty well with our coaching staff too and he's 27, wants a 6 year deal, brings him to 33. Can we drive the price down by going 5 years? We can't. So we'll go 6 years not to piss him off. That's the term he wants. And we'll try, we'll try to see if we can, if we can get you at 11.9. I feel like that would be a little bit more comfortable for me. Noah, if you could, if you could do that with us, that would be great. What is he going to say? Decided to reject a contract offer. Shit. He really wants to go to free agency. So we're going to have to overpay him to avoid doing that. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Uh, what do we do, man? What What the hell do we do? That probably means Tyler Johnson has to go. How much cap space do we have? We have we do have a decent amount of cap space, 
So we'll give we'll give Noah another another contract here. You want six years? I'll give you I'll give you twelve point here twelve point two five. You're making McDavid money, Noah. Come on, come on, come to the Calgary Flames. Decided to reject an offer. Shit. Remember. We do have this much cap space right now, and it is a nice amount of cap space, but we have to sign a starting goalie. We if we're gonna we have to sign a starting goalie. We have to replace Evgeny Malkin on the roster, and we have to replace Tyler Johnson on the roster. So I don't think we can really give Hannafin anything more than what we're offering him right now. We might have to just let Hannafin go as much as I don't want to. It just might have to be how it is. And if Genny Mulliken, listen, he's declining, but he had such a good performance for us this this past season. We might wanna we might wanna look at signing him. I'll give you a one year contract though. He does want one point or four point seven, but he wants to re-sign with us. So maybe we can maybe we can talk him down to four point five. That would be nice. 4.5 for one year. Gino, please come back to us. It was an easy decision. Okay, so Gino's coming back. And I think Hannafin's just going to have to go, man. We don't we don't have enough cap space to get him and the starting goalie. We do not. So Hannafin's going to have to go. And we're, we're going to see if we can replace Tyler Johnson with somebody a little bit cheaper. Actually, 3.7 mil is not that bad, man. He's going to be a third-line player for us. Come on. Come on. Come come down to 3.5 for me, man. Come down to 3.5, and we're going to be groovy. I understand it's over, and it was an easy decision. Okay. Okay. Now, this man is old as dirt, but Braden Coburn is still in a 79 overall. We're going to sign him to a one... Oof, no, we're not. That's not the contract I'm willing to give you. Bye. Sorry, bud. It just wasn't going to happen. Not on this team. But I, I'm, I'm sure somebody will sign you that much, man. Now, we're just going to offer these gentlemen a few... Well, we're just going to qualify you. You don't want to re-sign with us. That's not my fucking problem. You're restricted there, bud. Right, so we offered everybody that's lower on the totem pole kind of their contract. Except for Mr. Leonov who is a top six forward for us, like top six potential forward for us. But the thing is, he's he's 18, so we can afford to not sign him for now. Let's not burn a year of his ALC. Let's just not sign him, let him develop wherever the hell he's going. I think he's in Russia. Yeah, he is in Russia. Let him, let him keep playing in Russia. It's all good. We're going to sign his ELC later down the road. And now, let's just unsign players. I understand. Let's go. We are going to bring pretty much everybody back. Okay, that is wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Scouts, not renewed. Okay, let's just hire staff. God damn it. Uh, who do we have that is... You know what? I'm going to deal with this later. I'm not in the mood for this. We need to we need to replace Mr. Noah Hannafin, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Right, so as we look at our depth chart here, we see that we are comfortable as far as centers go. We do have a number one and a number two, and then we have a bunch of people that can both play wing and center. A lot of versatile players out here, which is actually good for us because we are a little bit thin on the wings. We have a number one, a number two, basically a number four and nothing else on the on the left side and on the right side we have a number one and pretty much a number three maybe a number two no it's a number three so we need we need a second line right winger and we're good on defense we're actually good on defense we have seven nhl caliber defensemen so we need a second line or a third line right winger one of the two and we need a starting goalie in free agency so let's go shopping and let's see what we can do with the cap space that we have which is 11 million dollars which is a fair amount but austin matthews is up there too that's that's that would be nice right but let's go to right winger let's see if there's a second liner for us see there is boom we have kevin lebank i actually do like me some kevin lebank do you fit on the top six all forward lines you fit everywhere kevin that is awesome that is actually great for us what about tom wilson Oh, apparently it doesn't fit anywhere. How does that make any sense? We're supposed to be a physical team. That is bullshit. 
That is absolute bullshit. Tyler DeFoley, a little bit of veteran presence. We're not too sure about his fit, so that's unfortunate. And what about Andre Kasha? All penalty killing lines, so I think the obvious answer here is to go with left wing, right wing, Kevin LeBanc, and see if we can sign him. Unfortunately, he wants kind of a long-term contract. Which is unfortunate for us, but think about it. He's going to be a top six forward for pretty much the entirety of that contract. So we'll see if we can... We'll see if we can offer him exactly this deal. I don't I don't mind this deal at all. Six years, 7.650. We'll even bring it up to 7.7. .7. Remember, the cap is up, so 7.7 .7 isn't what it used to be. So we're going to go ahead and offer him that contract... And now we have about $4 million to sign a goaltender, which, oh my goodness, if we could sign Connor Hellebuck, it would have been absolutely amazing. He actually has three, he wants three years. Oh, we just might have to freaking send it on Hellebuck. Can we rescind an offer? I should have looked at the goalies before doing any of this. That would be great. We also have Shesty, but Shesterkin's given us a 905, whereas Hellebuck, Hellebuck, oh, 913. This could be the elite goalie that we have been wanting for a while. And the fun thing is he only wants three years. So you know what? We're going to lose Hannafin. We're going to give that money to Hellebuck. We're going to give him... 8.6 million dollars and i know this is probably over the cap now actually it is over the cap with what we offered um buddy on the right wing kevin lebank so we're just gonna have to wait and see whoever agrees to sign first and i have a sneaky feeling it might be kevin lebank that's who we're gonna get the other one is not gonna be able to fit unless unless we trade evgeny malkin for picks Oh, that would open up the cap space. To, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to have to do that. That sucks. I wanted to keep Malkin. But then we don't really have a second line center if we trade him away. But then again, we might have Connor Hellebuck if we do this. You know what? We're, we're going to do it and we're going to see if we can sign a good center in free agency as well. We just got rid of his... His cap hit, we're going to wait out on Hellebuck and LeBanc and see how that goes. Tyler Johnson also makes three mil. No, we're not going to we're not gonna do that. Now we have enough to sign both of them. Connor Hellebuck comes to the Calgary Flames. That's freaking massive. LeBanc goes to the Penguins. So that's not ideal. Good thing we kept Tyler Johnson. Let's see if we can sign a second line center. The reason why I did this is Malkin is on the decline, so he's he's probably not going to be at 85 overall by the time the season ends, or 84, whatever he's at. He's not going to be there by the time the season ends, so we're going to sign a free agent here, and it looks like Jonathan Taves. Oh, he fits on the top six. He wants a one-year contract. What about Patrice? Forward line one. Ah, we need you for the second line there, but it might have to be Jonathan Taves. 7.5 and he wants and he wants a fair deal too like he wants a one year 5.8 i have no issues with giving mr jonathan taves six million dollars actually a little bit over six million dollars for him to come play for the calgary flames for this season that is massive man turns out we actually made a pretty good decision by doing that now we're not gonna get the second line right winger that we wanted you know, we do lose out on that, but in exchange, we get Connor freaking Hellebuck for three years. So I will take that, okay? I will absolutely take that, especially if Taves does sign with the Flames. Uh, so, ooh, Brett Pesci. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Brett Pesci for picks, basically. Mm, unfortunate, unfortunate that we don't have the cap space to do it, man. We're going to go... Oh, Taves, you dick! Why? I offered you such a good contract. He went to the Sharks. I'm pissed. I'm pissed now. That is bullshit. Okay, it looks like Tyler Johnson just might be our second line center this year. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's not good. That is not good. We still have one more option available for us, but he does not fit on the second line. He's a first liner.
according to our strategies. Oh, actually, this man is a second liner as well. We could get Ryan Getzlaff back. Oh, uh, he only fits on penalty killing lines, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he wouldn't be ideal for the second line, but I kind of want Patrice Bergeron, man. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to give him 4.2. Actually, you know what? We're going to give him 4.4. We were going to give Taves even more money than that. So we're going to give Bergeron 4.4. And I don't know, man. Is there a center right wing that we could get as well? There is. There is, actually. And unfortunately for us, they are fourth line forwards. Okay, so let's just go by roll here. Let's see if we can get a second line winger. That would be ideal. Victor Arvidsson, that's not bad. Forward line one, all forward lines. Oh, Paul Mary, that's an option. Does want a lot of money, though. And we just gave Bergeron four mil. So we can't really do that. Kelly Yarncroat, ah, that's not, that's not ideal. James Neal, first line James Neal. Imagine, bro. That'd be hilarious. That'd be absolutely hilarious. Penalty, oh my goodness, all forward lines. Oh, Joe Pavelski. Joe Pavelski fits freaking everywhere. As a th oh man, we might want to do that. He's a center too, like he can play center as a secondary position. Shit, I should have done a little bit more scouting. Okay, well, well, once again, we'll give Pavelski a good amount of money, and that way, if we lose out on Bergeron. Pavelski might come to the Calgary Flames. Unfortunately for us, those are two very old gentlemen who are not going to be at their peak as the season ends, but we're about to find out who is coming. Uh, picks for any anybody, really, that makes money. Okay, so Bergeron's going to go to the Golden Knights, and we sign Pavelski in his stead. So that is huge. That was uh, big brain plays right there. So we ended up with Joe Pavelski. Now we have $3 million, which is not a whole lot. But we still need somebody, somebody here to be on the second line. Ryan gets laugh. And the only second liners that are left want money, except for one Ryan gets laugh. And we only have $3 million of cap space. So we're going to sign Ryan gets laugh. Worst to worst, he's going to be our second line center. That is less than ideal for sure. But it is what it is, man. We're going to max out our cap. Come on. Stop going over it. There you go. $3 million for one year. Ryan, come back to the Calgary Flames. Let's make something special for us. You're kind of not great for our chemistry, but it is what it is, man. Please come back for us. We can win a Stanley Cup. Yes, sir. Ryan Getzlaff is on the books now. We can... Nope. Not doing that. Not doing that trade. But that is pretty much going to be the lineup, man. I, I actually like what we did in the offseason. We lost Hannafin. But our defense is still full of solid defensemen. You know, NHL caliber defensemen. And at the same time, we're adding an elite goalie. So that's that's not bad, man. I, I do like me some elite goalies, especially Connor Hellebuck. I mean, good lord. That's pretty much our, our goalie situation. Oh, Evander Kane for picks. No, we're going for the Stanley Cup. As much as we would like to see more cap space for us, we're not going to use it this season. So let's just go ahead and refuse that trade. See, we still have Tyler Johnson over there on the third line. So that's huge, man. That's huge. Right, so here we go after finagling with the lines a little teeny tiny bit. We have some plus chemistry on every line. Now, we don't have a plus five or a plus three, nothing like that. But Joe Pavelski turned out to be the man that makes the second line work, man. Because if we move him at all anywhere, the line just doesn't work. <laughs> So I'm good. I'm good with signing Joe Pavelski. I'm actually really happy, and I wish we could make this plus three line work, but I've tried multiple things. You can't do it. So that's unfortunate. What I do not like about this lineup is Phillips has to sit. Weber is also sitting for oof $7.8 million. That's a whole lot of money. Well, hopefully we can move him here as we, uh, as we find a way, but our defense, unfortunately, still not a whole lot of chemistry over there. We have... Honestly, Brandstrom doesn't fit that well. Can, can we move? Can we move Brandstrom? Man, he doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is, man. Okay, second pairing 
doesn't work too great, but Dobson hopefully is going to become a great player for us. He's making 4.9, so I mean, it is what it is. And we have a new kid on the block, Melvinov, or Medvinov. Is that a D? I think that's a D. Medvinov, whatever. He's top four potential, so he's eventually going to play in a Dobson spot. So we'll see if we can actually get something good out of him and our goaltenders, Connor. Hell the fuck! As a 90 overall goalie, is probably going to help out that defense quite a fair bit. And Sogard is going to be his backup. Sogard, actually, last season, I think, had a good year for us. Yeah, he did. 904. Okay, so just just keep doing that. Keep improving. We'll be fine and groovy. So that is the team. And the first order of business is to see if we can get Shea Weber the hell out of here. Because that is a whole lot of money. And it kind of is the reason why we couldn't bring back our boy. You know, our, our, our boy Hannafin. But, oh, you want him? Oh, they want him. Okay, so teams around the NHL actually do want Shea Weber. So what we're going to do here is find a trade for him and see if we can get him. He actually has value still. I don't know how. We, yeah, we do actually. Four offers. A third and a fifth from the Bruins. Weber on the Bruins. My goodness. A uh, third and a fourth from the Hurricanes. We have Radic Foxa and a seventh. But we're not going to use Radic Foxa. So we're going to go and take the third and fourth out of Carolina. Not in our conference, we're chilling. So you guys enjoy Shea Weber, and that is him off the contract, or off the books here. We probably should have done that prior to free agency, but it is what it is. Now, before the season starts, oh, we do have some extensions to work on. Eric Brandstrom is one of them. Now, he doesn't fit quite well with the chemistry that we have set up right now, however... I will, listen, if it's between Brandstrom and my coach, my coach can, you know, eat dirt, okay? So we're going to see if we can re-sign Mr. Brandstrom. Ooh, we can actually re-sign him to a fair price here. Let's give him a five-year extension. He wants to come back, so we can kind of talk him down here. Five years at just over 5.5. What do you say, Eric? I think that's good, because he can, he can absolutely develop into a good player. Tyler Radish also wants a extension. But we don't really want him back, to be honest. He kind of hurts the chemistry. So uh, we're, we're going to sign a player that fits a little bit better for what he can do on the roster. Now, he does want a sick deal, though. Oh, we'd be kind of fools not to jump on that, man. Tyler, he can play on the second line or the third line at 3.1. Oh, you know what? Let's let's sign him to a four-year deal at $3 million. Now, I know what I just said about him, but think about it. We can trade him. We can trade him. Once he signs that contract, he's going to be on a sweetheart deal, and we can just boot him immediately. So that's going to be that. Other than that, our goalies are chilling. So, so that's a pretty good setup for the year, man. We might not go back to the Stanley Cup Finals. You know, we did lose a major player. Let's go. Branstrom's back on the books. And Radish is back on the books. That's also awesome for us. That ups his trade value, man. He has a he has a pretty decent contract length now. And it's a sweetheart deal. We love to see it. Now, it is time. Oh, right. I... I <laughs> This man just signed a qualifying offer that I just gave him because I was not willing to negotiate with him. So there you go. We're going to start the season five and what? Seven and what? Boys, I think I'm a genius. I might be a hockey genius. We are starting the season in fuego right now. It is unbelievable. 11 and four. I mean, we're kind of, oh, Jake Truba, eh? For some draft picks. No, nah, we kind of, we kind of fired a lot of draft picks last season into the sun for that one Stanley Cup. We don't want to do that every year because if you do that every year, one day you wake up and you have no prospects and your team is old. So let's try not to do that. Especially because we're 18 and 6. Oh, what a start. What a beautiful start to the Flame season. I am loving it, man. We are winning hockey games, everything. Look at this. We're going to reach 20 wins before we take 10 Ls. That is always a good sign for you and I like this team. Let's go, Matt Connor Hellebuck must be absolutely killing it right now. I'm happy I did this. Colton Sissons, that's not bad, dude. But for a second rounder, let's not 
Let's not do it. We don't know how it's going to upset the chemistry. We don't want to do anything with this team right now. It is on fire. As a matter of fact, we're going to whiz right by the trade deadline and finish the season with our best record yet 50, 27, and 5. That's monster, man. That is monster. Oh, my goodness. Mid-30s, Patrick Kane is still scoring 50 goals. Are you kidding me? That first line is rocking. Ram Jackson also being a 40 goal score they they basically have you know inverted stat lines but they have mid 90s for points that is huge and pavelski giving us an 85 point season at 40 years old what oh hell yeah that's what i'm talking about mr joseph joseph pavelski or jonathan Pav i don't know i don't know which one it is but goddamn it is spelled goals evander kane is giving us a 40 goal season on the second line when when did you become a 40 goal score evander holy shit never is the answer evander kane having a career year on us a, a, a man love to see it absolutely love to see it man that joe pavelski to evander kane that was probably my best signing i've ever done honestly best low-key signing how much did i pay this man Oh my goodness, $5 million. Yeah, I'll pay $5 million for a friggin' 85-point season any day of the week, my dude. Any day of the week. Tyler Johnson still being a key contributor for us. Uh, ah, God damn it, Eric. Stop. Stop being bad, please. Minus 13. That's just not good enough. Quite, quite simply not good enough. But he is getting a very modest pay raise, so hopefully he can get even better he still has that medium elite right yeah he does he has medium elite potential so hopefully he grows a little bit oh, yes barre boule is out here with almost 25 points that's that's huge and this is our rookie defenseman giving us a 10 point season and a plus minus of plus 15 we like that that's very good 40 penalty minutes though 45 of them that's that's a lot but hey that's a <laughs> yo if he can play like that, I'm down. I'm down for that. Now, let's look at the goal. Yeah, okay. 90 overall, Connor Hellebuck gave me a 904. That's bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. But let's see what we got going on, man. First round of the NHL playoffs are coming up. And it's going to be against the Anaheim Ducks. We traded them Evgeny Malkin. Please don't come back to bite us. We do win game one. We do win game two as well. And it looks like the Flames are in control as we barely lose Game 3. And we're right back to not being in control again, please. I swear to God. It's going Game 7 against the Ducks. Oh, man. And we had a good start to this series, too. First pair to play. We have absolutely nothing separating the teams. But Tyler Johnson is still out here with scoring big playoff goals. Second period. Yes, sir. Big lead. And now, can we hold them off? Actually, let's extend the lead. Let's not hold on to a 2-1 lead. Let's just extend it, please. I know we have God I know we have God mode Connor Hellebuck, but let's just let's just give him a little bit of a cushion to work with. Right? Right, guys? Power play. Power play. I swear to God. Score on the power play. Oh, it doesn't worry. That could come back to bite us, but it's late in the third period, and it looks like the Calgary Flames are gonna beat the Ducks in seven games. That is huge, but. That is absolutely huge. Now, second round series is against McDavid and the Oilers. We have home mice once again, and we are going to take W's once again against the Edmonton Oilers. Are we doing this again? I swear to God. Okay. Okay. I thought we were going to melt another lead away, but we are 8-5 and five on the playoff run. We bought ourselves a couple days of rest, and now we're taking on the Minnesota Wild. And I'm really liking the way that this team is looking. We have a good mix of young and veteran players. We have Connor Hellebuck. I just, I like it. I like it. First three games against Minnesota. What it do, baby? It do a 2-1 series deficit is what it do. That's not ideal. Let's see if we can tie this puppy up. Yes, we do with an emphatic performance in game four. I love that. Let's go. Let's go. Using that momentum. Can we move on to the Stanley Cup Finals? Yes, we can. Defending champs go back to the finals. And it is the Washington Capitals meeting us. I don't think there's any former flame on the Capitals unless I'm forgetting a player. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go, Ram Jackson. 19 points in 19 games for us. That's huge. But yeah, I don't know that there's any history with me and the Capitals. We're about to go find out. See if I traded them somebody. 
Ovechkin is still there. That is huge. Matter of fact, let's take a look at your... Oh, 950. Next season, he's breaking it. He's he's 100% breaking it. Kuznetsov, Backstrom, Shiri, Carlson, Sprong, Hints. Man, this... Oh, you motherfucker! You... I can't even blame him. I can't even blame him because he made the Stanley Cup Finals. And they gave him $13 million. I'm not even mad at Hannafin, dude. I'm not mad at him. He got the bag... He got the contract he wanted. I don't know about deserve, but he got the contract he wanted. And guess what? He's winning. He's making it to the Stanley Cup Finals. But now, now it's go time. And y'all have this mother... All right. All right. Big Stanley Cup Finals, boys. We better win this. I'll, I'll be pissed if we don't, to be honest. Let's, let's, let's... Nope, let's not play the game. Let's actually simulate, please. We do have home ice again, which is huge... Let's see if we can take advantage of it, man. First two games at home. Let's go. Oh, actually, we split them. That's no bueno. That is no bueno at all. Can we? Oh, no. We're down two to one. Big performance here in game four. Come on, boys. Yes, huge performance in game four to win this puppy in overtime. Massive game five is underway here. First pair to play. Two zip for the Calgary Flames. It's Ryan Getzlaff still doing it. And Patrick Kane. And after the second. Ah, four nothing. I'm not even going to slow sim to third. Y'all suck. Y'all are ass cheeks. Let's go. We have the lead and we could potentially win another Stanley Cup back to back. This one on the road once again. I mean, I am okay with it though. Let's not go to game seven. First period against the Caps. Absolutely no scoring. Second period against the Caps. We have a 2 nothing lead once again. Heading into the third period. Let's, oh, let's not take penalties early. Please do not take penalties early. Three nothing suck it noah what's good my g you should have stayed with the flames you should have taken less to be with a winning organization this victory feels so wait oh y'all have a late power play oh no oh no i sure hope you don't score and make it 3-2 with 30 seconds left <laughs> i'm so freaking happy let's go Let's freaking go. You want to play hardball. You want to play hardball against MJ and just just try to get me to sign you to some ridiculous deal? Hell to the fuck nah. We're going to come back. Oh, we're going to put one more in there for good measure. Big Hilmangus Genos. It's my boy Evander Kane. Yes, sir. Big trade acquisition from last season. That's what we like to see. Look at this. Look at this. Just, just, just go to the net. Pick up rebounds, get Genos. That's what we do, man. And the Calgary Flames are going to run away with game six. On the road in Washington, beating Noah Hannafin. And we are going to win the Stanley Cup. How much time we got left? How much time can I can I just bask in this glory here? Another 12 seconds. Ovechkin is on the ice. Heike, it is hurting me to beat Alexander Ovechkin because he is one of my favorite players. But... We beat Noah Hannafin. Really? We're going to injure one of our players with like a second left. That's huge. And speaking of other things that are huge, the Dubs, bud. Yes, sir. Another Stanley Cup. We repeat losing Noah Hannafin in the offseason, losing Evgeny Malkin in the offseason. But you know what? We replaced them with better players to win a Stanley Cup once again. Let's freaking go. I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, good game, good game. I like Vrana, so so good for you. Fuck Tony, but I like Vrana, so there you go. That, that's huge. Backstrom, sorry, bud. You're a good player. Uh, everybody else, though, other than Ovechkin, y'all can suck it, bud. And John Ram Jackson comes home with the Conn Smythe Trophy. This man had 17 assists. Look at this dude. Yes, sir. Big Captain Tangs, okay? He he did take a little bit of criticism for not, not you know, taking home the Consumite Trophy last season. But you know what? Vander Kane, it was just his time. And he came back with a 40-goal season to boot here after this season. So that is massive, man. I am not mad at anything we did really in this year. I I think I'm, I think we're good. We signed the guys that we needed to sign to extension. Rammer is going to be back for another multiple years because he's on his massive deal now. We have Connor Hellebuck coming back for next season. I mean, come on. We are chilling. We are chilling. We just might 3 -peat. I I don't want to get ahead of myself. 
we still have work to do in the offseason. But if we do it right, there's a chance we can three-peat with this roster here. Have, I have built an absolute fucking dynasty. Let's go. And we have a little bit of cap space to work with, too. Remember, we traded away Weber's contract, so that is $7 million cleared. So we might be able to add to this roster even. Like, that. this is crazy. If we, I think I found the model. I think I found the model. Get a good goalie. You know, the goalie of the year. We just won back-to-back -back cups with two different goalies. Get that, get value signings in free agency, and be great. That's what we did. Greatness! And it's back-to-back -back cups for the Calgary Flames. Let's go, man. See you next year.